But there is another game that came out on this, and this is the, the only other game that I'm aware of other than Battleship, which I was never able to get into. Uh, let me pull this up here. So if you go there and I say, OK, Glass, play a game. And there's only one game, so I don't know what there's going to It's called Spellista. Now, it's a, it's a fairly simple game, but this is a great thing to kind of show kids, I think. Um, so it pops up, and I get a little bit of music. You see, um, I got a bubble there. I see you're on a little bit of delay. And mm -hmm. it's a word scramble. And now, it, 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 I've only played a little bit of this, and uh, now I've been on this uh, uh, kind of C level here, but you see the letters all over the place. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing too many things, I can't think about what this word is. But you, you, you move your head, and I'll pull down, you can see me moving my head around, get the bubble, and you hold it over. And it's like, it's like the Xbox Connect that you hold, mm -hmm. and you see a little kind of circle filling in, and then that, that pulls up the selection. Somehow, I think I got that word randomly. And if I want to go down here, just hold over and erase that letter, and you go through. Oh, erase that letter. So, I mean, this kind of shows you kind of the interface and how, how easy it is. I mean, we got it, it looks pretty good. We have some, like, parallax scrolling going on here as I move my head. So that's kind of fun. Um, I notice it's super, super laggy when I do the, the screencast, like more than normal. Uh, sound seems okay. But um, I guess this gives you kind of a first glimpse of what kind of gaming you could do on here. I mean, I know it's like kind of feels like super, super simple phone stuff. No, but I mean, that I think that's, uh, I mean, you're not carrying a console with you on a, on a train or on a bus or anything like that I, I i think this is the kind of stuff i mean you're you're standing in line at starbucks for for three and a half minutes i mean i think this is the kind of this is the kind of games that are, are really going to change the way people people play games i mean look at look at things like so, candy crush so this, or this is what you're going to be used to it what's is, it called blitz uh bejeweled blitz and stuff like that those facebook type games are what the main not what hardcore gamers are playing or, or, or anyone like that. But when I, when I talk to people at work, they're like, Oh, I saw you, you were playing candy crush. Like they, they, they're not like, Oh, I saw you were playing grand theft auto. Like it, it's more, it's more of an everyone type of game. And I, and I could see that kind of, kind of game catching on. Cause they, it's not like you have to sit there and play for hours and hours and hours and hours. You can pick it up, play for three and a half minutes and be done. And you gotta think. I mean, this this is something that's more on a demo phase right now, right? That that and I don't know why I keep having to go further and further. I think I need to reset a little bit. Yeah, you, you kind of need to like oh, my bubble's all the way over here now, so I need to pull my head this way. Maybe there we go. <laughs> so I need to kind of recenter it a little bit. So, um, but no, I think this is like kind of your first step. You know, obviously this isn't. I don't know about doing a lot of kind of casual games like how they would catch on because again look at like kind of the audience right now you paid a lot of money to 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 do but i mean again this is this kind of like demoing kind of see where you could go with something like this i'm still playing this thing and the audio is kind of not bad for something like this you know it's not super super loud in here or anything i i guess also the audio is very disposable uh i think all the instructions when it was telling me how to use it uh were all on screen very readable um, I do notice, well, I keep going from this to this, and this is kind of the first, like, really colorful, vivid thing I've had to do on this, um, mm -hmm. like, in, in, in practice more, and I am noticing more of the eye adjustment issues more than I ever do, because you got to think, usually I'm, I'm reading tweets or, you know, something that's text, something that's like white text on black. Mm -hmm. Now everything you saw was, is all this big blue background, um, so I have like a pretty different thing to focus on that's, you know, like when you look at, you know, your screen, your screen in the dark reading something and then you look away and realize how much your eyes were straining on that thing, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'm definitely kind of starting to notice as I keep going back and forth from here to looking at the camera uh, in, in light, um, uh, you know, kind of that discombobulation that you could do, you know. 
Um, but thankfully, I think all the apps, all Google's apps, have been really kind of low-key up until now, and I think, you know, that's for a reason. Whenever, like, say if you were driving and you pulled something up, you want to look at your GPS, sometimes you could pull this down, and I, well, I can't do it now because i got so much going on here, but I could look through whatever the information was to driving, and I'm not losing anything, right? Mm -hmm. um, which I think is the same thing when you do a heads-up display um, in a car. Obviously, it's not going to be... You know, I don't think these cars have them, like directly in front of you in your field of fr of you know front vision. Um, but th again, this isn't for when you're doing something else. This is when I'm sitting around, you know, in the doctor's office and just want to kind of go, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's 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 kind of a simple but kind of cool little look. And and finally, I have something I can show people that's uh, a little more in depth. You know what I mean? I know it doesn't seem, again, because this kind of game, um, but it's something a little more involved that they can go try out and play with for a little bit, you know? Yeah, and it's, it's more in-depth, than, it, or it's it's, a, it's an alternative to the typical, they're just feeding you data. And I don't have to be connected to the internet to show them something really cool, mm -hmm. which is an issue with this as well. Because I'm like, oh, uh, you could search for something, but just try taking a picture, because uh, my, my jetpack's in the car, my, my internet Verizon jetpack, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I got to watch saying that when I'm walking around with something like this, right? Um, but but no, if you're not connected, like it's like, oh, uh, try searching, but I'm not sure if it's going to work because I, I left my internet in the car. You know, uh, you know, I have someone saying, hey, go go play a game. That's something you can do. Hey, pull up the compass because that's something you can do. And you can see where I don't...